I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We're supposed to see a good deal of rain come our way for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Clemson Tigers. We're near the midpoint of the college football season, and these two teams are battling for position in the ACC. And here come the Tigers. The Yellow Jackets look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Clemson has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow on the board. Nice pick, Kirk. Hey, guys, I'm going with the Tigers. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. We should have a return on this one. Burton fields at the goal line. It's time for the one-on-one -on -one matchup we've all been waiting for. This big-time playmaking receiver is going to have his hands full getting open today. He's going up against a tough cornerback. I don't care how good a corner you are, you're going to need some help covering this receiver. He's an impact player that comes up with big plays whenever his team needs him. Hurts right. You can't go one-on-one -on -one the entire game against this receiver and not expect to get beat. He should be a lot of fun to watch. Here's how this offense shapes up compared to the rest of the country. Ouch. Wow, these guys can't seem to get the ball down the field. Their offense better improve if they expect to win some games. Across the middle. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. Too much heat. Completing the pass is more important than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Georgia Tech in a four-wide set. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. And he's tackled. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. It's tipped. Dangerous, dangerous throw there. Give credit to the defense. They did a good job out there. This quarterback thought his man would be open, and boy, he was wrong. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 46. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Let's it fly. And it's the senior. They'll drop him for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Look at how dominant they've been on defense. Well, I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. He's knocked out of bounds. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Georgia Tech comes out of the shotgun. Ball came free. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turnovers? Well, you just got to get back to the fundamentals. For the skilled players, that means hanging on to the football. They'll go to work at the 46. First and 10. The Tigers line up with four wideouts, 
And they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Tigers come out the shotgun. He tosses it short. Complete. Given. Brings him down. Nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 46. Bishop lines up in the shotgun. Steps up, looking across the middle. Finds a man. And he's tackled. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First and 10, ball on the 32 yard line. Bishop has five receivers lined up here. He's going right. And he's got him on the fly. Fumble! And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. And a big change in momentum right here, Kirk. And you know what? When the other offense takes the field, I say they go for the home run on the very first play. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say a defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, Coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. They'll set up shot at the 15-yard line. From the gun, Golden set to go to the air. Couldn't haul it in. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15. The Yellow Jackets line up with three wide. He's going left, and he can't make the catch. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Yeah, just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 15. They'll bring in their dime package. Throws it to the outside. Three plays, all passes, and not one of them completed on that short series. And that's what you call a quick three and out, folks. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Jones gets it off. Moss fields it at the 44. He spins around. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Tigers with four receivers. They snap it to the back. Got some open field. They'll bring him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and 10. Ball of the 29. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Smith brings him down for a loss. Excellent job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through, but they were having none of that. Second down and 14. Ball on the 33. Clemson in a four wide set with the throw. Oh, he had a shot at the picks. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Bishop with four wide receivers. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws this one out to the right. 
and it falls incomplete. He couldn't make the catch inbound. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up. And he got it. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Garrison fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this Garrison offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. The Yellow Jack come out in the shotgun. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Georgia Tech comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Throws this one out to the right. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 26. Georgia Tech lines up with three receivers. He steps up, looks, and it's incomplete. Three plays, all passes, and not one of them completed on that short series. And that's what you call a quick three and out, folks. Georgia Tech ready to punt this one away. He punts it. Moss takes it to 36. A little juke at the point. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. They'll work from the shotgun. Gets rid of it quickly. And it's caught. Taken back a yard. On the reception. One yard loss on the play. Second it's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Clemson comes out of the shotgun, steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. And that's his receiver who's wide open. A five-yard gain. Five-yard gain on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 33-yard line. Three wideouts here. Rolls to the right. He's going left. And he drops it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And this one doesn't have the distance. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Golden has four receivers lined up here. On the ground with a tailback. Brought down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. The Yellow Jackets line up with three wide. He'll dump this one off. Complete. And down he goes. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Georgia Tech lines up for the shotgun set. He's going right. Couldn't haul it in. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Golden drops back to pass. Looking down the middle. Finds the man. They'll bring him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Golden to the air on first down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And they get the sack. We just saw what makes this young man an All-American. Well, get used to it. This guy's going to make himself a name playing on Sunday. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 20. From the gun, Golden back to throw. With the throw, incomplete pass. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. come to the end of the first quarter with the score Clemson three Georgia Tech nothing the field goal unit takes the field and they'll look to tie this one up he gets it up and it's through the uprights here's the Pontiac drive summary bringing you fuel for the soul for the kickoff. Georgia Tech is lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Moss fields it at the two. There's a missed tackle. At the 30. Here comes the offense, and I'd expect them to be a little bit upset. I'd be furious. They had a great drive ended by a miss. I think they want to be the ones who score here, not someone else. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Bishop to the air on first down. Wants to go long and does. It's tipped. And the safety got a hand on it that time. The intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40. Yard line. 
Bishop lines up in the shotgun. Gets rid of it quickly. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Loss of about two. Loss of two. Third down and 12. Ball on the 38. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Wants to throw outside. Brown brings him down. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. It's first and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Bishop drops back, throws it to the outside, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and 10. Ball right around midfield. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. Throw short, and it's caught. Tackle. They get four yards on that pass play. Gain of four on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They come out with three wide receivers. Looks down the middle. Oh, great catch. And he's tackled. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Clemson sets up with four receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Lewis with a takedown. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. It's second down and five to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Bishop is in the zone and looking to make a play. He fires right, complete. They'll drop him for a loss. A one-yard loss. One-yard loss on the play. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. The Tigers come out in the ace formation, setting up the play action. He's going right. Too tall for his intended target, and that should have been six. Yep, he had his man wide open, but his arm didn't do what his brain told him to do. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. The kick is up, and it's good. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember the good folks at Pontiac has been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Clemson to kick, Garrison and Burton back deep to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Burton fields it in the end zone. He's hit and got away. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll get the ball here at the 38. Georgia Tech in a five-wide set. He's looking, and it's knocked down. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. Second and 10. Ball on the 38. 
The Yellow Jackets come out in the ace formation. There's a play fake. He rolls left, and he's going to be sacked. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. But in that case, the offense needs to stick to the screen pass at a halfback. Let him get behind the rest of it. Take off behind his blockers for six. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 31-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Golden set to go to the air. Throws this one out to the right. Has it to the senior. And they fail to convert for the first down. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, coach, stepping up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. The Yellow Jackets are lining up to punt it away. Jones gets it off. Moss signals for a fair catch. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun, tries to juke, and he's taken down. A good 10 yards on the pickup. Second and less than a yard. Ball on their own 33. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Fumble. Loose ball. And the defense is on it. And he's hit hard. What happened there, coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like he should. And the defender made a nice play to jar it loose. They'll go to work at the 46. First and 10. Clemson puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. And he's got the freshman. And he's tackled. That's a three yard pickup. It's second down and seven to go. Ball right around midfield. The Yellow Jackets come out showing three wide. Steps up in the pocket. And they got it. And the defensive lineman comes up with a big sack. That's a great individual effort right there. But I'll tell you what. The reason that play was successful was because they came with a blitz on the play. You're right. They sent one more guy than they had blockers for. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. Let's see if they look the wideouts way. He is in the zone. It falls incomplete. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. The Yellow Jackets line up to punt. Jones punts it, and it's a good one. Moss fields it at the 13. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Four wide, Bishop on first down, and it's gone. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Tigers come out of the ace formation. Bishop gives it up the middle. Tackle. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Yeah. 
the Tigers with four receivers. He's going left. And he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Nickel defense. Back to pass. He steps up. Throws this one out to the right. And that one's fallen incomplete. It's third down and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Bishop drops to throw. Looking. He goes downtown. Someone got a hand on it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Good defense there, guys. I wonder if the quarterback was expecting to see man coverage there because he threw it right to the defense. And that's what's so tough about playing against the zone. You think a guy's open, and out of nowhere, a defender shows up. Just like that. They line up to punt this one away. Garrison, back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Garrison fields it at the 11. Juke move. The offense gets ready to start a new drive, as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll get the ball here at the 14. At the 14-yard line. First The Yellow Jackets line up with four wideouts. Golden steps back to pass. Short call. The senior makes the catch. Georgia Tech takes a timeout. Second and seven. Ball on the 17-yard line. Watch out for the man at wideout. He's feeling it right now. That is ball. Almost intercepted. He tried to force that one in. It should have been intercepted. He can't be thrown into coverage like that. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 17. Georgia Tech lines up in a goal line set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. Clemson calls a timeout. Georgia Tech ready to punt this one away. Jones punts it, and it's a good one. Moss fields it at 38. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 44. Drops back to pass, steps up, throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. He let his halfback too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 44. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. He's going right. The ball is tipped. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Third and 10. Ball on the 44. The Tigers come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He's going to air it long. It's deflected. 
Not on target at all this drive, guys. Clemson lining up the punt. Garrison back deep to return. It's off, and it is a dandy. Garrison fields it at the 13. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. He steps up. Down the middle. And it's knocked down. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Second, Second and ten. ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. They come out with four wide out. Golden, back to pass. He passes it, complete. And down he goes. Clemson takes a timeout. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 21. They come out in a nickel. Golden, back to throw. He's looking, he's going left. Got it to him on the run. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That's a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Georgia Tech in a five-wide set. First down. He'll dump this one off. Finds the freshman. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down and three to go. Ball right around midfield. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Throws short. Smith brings him down. Maybe got two feet on the play. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle here. Georgia Tech goes with the ace set here. They'll run for the first on third and short. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Fourth and one. They line up and punt this one away. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Clemson 6, Georgia Tech 3. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Strickland takes it at the four. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 26-yard line. Bishop comes to the line with three wide. Looking. 
Across the middle. Great concentration. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 35. Clemson in a four wide set. He tosses it short and he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 35 yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Makes a move. Spin move. Charles with a takedown. And the short gain is enough for the first. Boy, I like that play call. Go ahead and get the first down here. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down mark. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. And the impact D tackle is in the zone. And he's hit hard. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Clemson comes out of the shotgun. Steps up. Look. They'll make the sack. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Five wide. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking for his man. Incomplete. No catch that time, and he is blasting. These wideouts should try to bulk up more because, man, they could get hurt. Clemson ready to put this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Garrison takes it at the 23. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 36. They come out with four wide out. He unloads it. And that one's fallen incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Yellow Jackets set up in the gun. Back to pass. He steps up, wants to throw outside. Here he goes. The 10. Touchdown, Clemson. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. Tacks on the extra point. for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Burton fields it in the end zone. 
Great job by the defense last time forcing the kick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll get the ball here at the 14-yard line. The Yellow Jackets come out in the shotgun. They snap it to the back. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, folks, we just saw what can happen if you don't pick up all your blocks. Man, that was an ugly nightmare from the beginning. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 10. Golden lines up in the shotgun. Steps up. Aaron and out long. Whitehead drops the ball. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and 14. Ball on their own 10. Georgia Tech comes out of the shotgun. He's looking. Throws it deep downfield. Got it. Tackle. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. And it's caught. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. Second and seven. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Looking. There's a fumble. And they got him for a loss. Are they lucky or what? The quarterback, very fortunate that one of his guys recovered the football. Yeah, he's got to be more careful out there. Either tuck that thing away or just get down before contact. I don't care what he does. Just don't fumble. That's all. Do whatever you have to do to protect that football. They'll bring in their dime package. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. Down the sideline. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30. They'll bring in their dime pack. Golden drops back on first down. And the tight end couldn't manage to stay in bounds that time. Yep, the tight end caught the ball, but not before he stepped out of bounds. Good call there by the refs. Second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. Oh, man. He'll pull that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Georgia Tech comes out with five receivers. He's drilled as he throws. Strickland brings him down for a loss, taking back a yard. Tech ready to punt this one away. Jones boots it way up there. Wallace calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25. When this quarterback's in the zone as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. He has some room, and 
he's taken down. A gain of eight on the carry. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 33. Nickel defense. Bishop drops back to pass. Lost this one out to the right. Complete. Brought down. Not much there on the screenplay. No game on the play. Third and two. Ball on the 33-yard line. Clemson in a four-wide set. Third and short, and they hand it off. Breaks one. They'll bring him down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of about six. Loss of six on the play. Second and long, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Six DBs in the lineup. He steps up, throws, and it's caught, and down he goes. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Bishop back in the gun. Looks, rolling out to the right side. He throws a dart to the left. Hauls it in for the touchdown. It's been a long, successful career for this young fellow. He's about to take over the number one spot on the all-time passing touchdowns list for this school. You got it, Kirk. He's tied right now. And one more beauty like that, and it's going to be all him. the PAT. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. They're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Garrison fields it in the end zone. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll start, here. The They'll start this drive at the 17. Georgia Tech lines up with three receivers. Golden gets up the middle. Henry brings him down for a loss. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Clemson 20, Georgia Tech 3. Second and 11 coming up, ball on the 16-yard line. The Yellow Jacket set up in the gun, drops back to pass, going deep, and it's picked off. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. Excellent field position to start the drive. First and ten. 
Clemson sets up with four receivers. Bishop hands it off. Sparks brings him down. How about the job of this offensive line, guys? Boy, the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense. It's tough when you're tired. You're losing. You're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. Keep an eye on that quarterback down there. He has big play potential. He breaks free. Brought down. Kirk, my friend, this is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up first down. Yeah, Lee, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish line. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Tiger with four receivers. He's looking. With the throw. Complete. Tackle. And that reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. He drops back, wants to throw outside, and he gets the touchdown. There it is. A new all-time school record for the most passing touchdowns in a career. When the coach was recruiting this kid, he told him he's going to let him throw the ball around. But he had no idea he was going to put it in the end zone this many times. You know, Coach, he runs this offense better than anyone in school history. He's so efficient and accurate with his throws, and he can move the ball down the field quickly and make it look simple. What a quarterback. Congratulations on the new record. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Clemson lines up for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Garrison fields at the goal line. He jukes. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? They'll set up shop at the 26. Georgia Tech comes out of the shotgun, looking, lets it go. And it's caught, and he's tackled. Only three yards there on the throw. A second down and seven to go. Ball in the 29. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up. He wants it all going long. The ball is tipped. It falls incomplete. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Third down and seven. Ball in the 29-yard line. Georgia Tech goes with the ace set here. He's going to air it long. It's deflected. Almost intercepted. Looks like he tried to force that. The defense was in his zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. They line up to punt this one away. Jones gets it off. Moss signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 28-yard line. This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone. And I don't see that happening again. They'll go to work at the 28. The Tiger set up in the gun. He jukes it. They'll bring him down. A five-yard gain. Five-yard gain on the one. 
It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 33. Bishop with three wide receivers. He might have a chance. Brought down. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. First and ten. Ball on the 50. The Tigers line up with three wide. Throw short. Incomplete pass. He let his hat back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Clemson lines up with three receivers. He's taking big move, and down he goes. And with that carry, the running back just went over 100 yards on the day. Well, this kid's having a great game. He's been running left, right, and up the middle. Boy, I'll say, he's been giving the defense a hard time all game long. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. And he's tackled, so the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. They send out the punting unit. He gets it away. Sparks calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. Georgia Tech comes out with five receivers. Drops back to pass, steps up in the pocket, and it's incomplete. Garrison, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten, ball on their own 25. They'll work from the shotgun. Golden drops to throw. He might not be able to get the pass off. Strickland with a takedown. That'll be a pickup of a yard. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Yellow Jackets line up with four wideouts. Throws it to the outside. Off his hands, incomplete. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. Georgia Tech lining up the punt. He gets it off. Moss fields it at the 34. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. Well, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. So they'll start this drive at the 35. They line up in the shotgun. Moss. On the inside handoff, Nash brings him down. Nothing going on that one. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Tigers line up with three wide. A little juke. He's got an opening. Tackle. A pickup of about three. Three-yard gain on the play. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 38. Clemson comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Down the middle. Complete at the 40. They'll bring him down. We may see something special today. This quarterback has played in a very aggressive offense. He's thrown a 
ton of passes throughout his career. That's right, my good friend. And that's why he's closing in on the school record for passing yardage in a career. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Second and one. This is the fifth play of this drive. Bishop is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. There's a flag down, and here's the call. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15 yard penalty, first down. It's first and a mile. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They line up in the jumbo set. This is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Second and long coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. The offense faces another third down here as they line up. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams, but I was really impressed the way this game was won. Clemson came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2006. The final count in this one, Clemson 27, Georgia Tech 3. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.